<laughs> right, mate, it's the morning of. How are you feeling? Terrified. Absolutely nice. terrified. As well you should be. But we'll get through it. The knee will hold up. Yeah, feel good. Feel good. Just packing all the stuff up. Because we're going to be staying the night up in the mountain. 4,000 meters. And it's the first mountain I've ever climbed. And hopefully, if the air's clear up there, we should be able to see Everest. We should be able to see four or five different peaks. So that's, I'm absolutely buzzing about that. Been on Netflix, watched 14 peaks. I'm in the zone. This is gonna be unreal, this experience. But I am nervous, I am anxious. I've got a bad knee. But I do wanna climb as much as I can. I wanna get up to the summit. I just don't know if my knee's gonna hold out. We'll see, we'll see. Have a nice trek. Thank you. So we're going on the trek now. We just left the hotel, Magnolia. Really nice stay here. If you are coming here, perfect location. This is crazy. So we're actually in the cloud now. Look, have a look at this. You can't see further than probably 25, 30 feet. I don't know what it's going to be like when we um, when we get up there, or if we get up there, but it's going to be an experience and a journey, nonetheless. This is Gatan's shop here. Adventures Unlimited, India. That's the company. He's been here for his whole life, grown up here. He knows the area inside and out. If you need any help when you're in Darjeeling, make sure you contact this guy. He's looked after us for a week solid. Him and his wife, a beautiful family, with the three children. Yeah. He's the man. We're just going to get our bits now. We've got coats, liners, and some, some down the largest, jackets. Largest one I have right okay. now. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yeah. Yeah. I like them tight, so. <laughs> Normally, I've got no choice. Aji, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> This brother here is going to be uh, saving our life today. <laughs> Have you check. Along with our good friend here, Gatti, he's been looking after us for a whole week. Yeah. We've been getting on his nerves every day. He's been very patient with us. So this is the this is fog that's passing through. So you can still feel the sun through the fog. It's very very strong. Have a look at that. You can't see anything. So the journey begins. What's up, Mark? We got in a text for a key call for him. Chris, Chris, Chris. How are you feeling, Sammy? Yeah, man, I'm buzzing. Yeah? Very excited just to get out into the wild. The Taekwondo class there in the square. So uh, this guy does it to help the underprivileged children, um, and he runs it. <laughs> he runs it by getting donations from the locals and their kids um, compete nationally, uh, which is incredible. Um, apparently, they've got a really, really strong women's team that compete uh, internationally as well. So I love that. That's a nice start to the morning. Put a smile on my face, that has. the police down they will have the crane sent oh, can you help us 
No, I can tell the police if you want to. We are going down. I can inform okay. them. And what happens when tourists try to draw it? Yeah. They have no idea. Yes, they don't know. Yeah, that's it. Oh, God. Yeah, they would be down there. Walking. So, are they from another region? That's yeah, why you Kolkata. speak English? Yeah, I can speak their language also. Oh, God, it's I'm not very fluent. Amar, what's up? What's up? Yeah, guys, they are. We're here at the moment in Mani Biang and then we're going to be driving to Dotri where we're going to have some food, we're going to have some, uh, we're going to have some fuel and then we're going to 8k up to Tonglu. It's going to be trekking all the way to, how do you pronounce this brother? San Sandakpo. Sandakpo. Sandakpo, which is 3,636 meters. I think we're going to get a jeep up. It's all getting very close now. It's all getting very close indeed. Real people living real life in the mountains. Chale chalo. How you feeling now, son? Good, man. Still good? Itching to get out into the wild, man. Itching to get out there. I need some food, I know that much. Hoping it doesn't make I need some coffee. So Dhutri is a place where you can find a lot of medicinal plants itself. Uh, so, mm. so there, uh, uh, after walking for five yeah, minutes... Apparently they have the best oh, beef mamas, the Hello. most juicy beef mamas here in Dutchie. So we're going to go and try and fill up our bellies <laughs> then get on the road. Yes. The taste of food is completely different. Wow. Yeah. Hello. Like in Kakran, yeah. you, you know, you saw the replica, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, the reality. Yeah. And that's how it dries on top. Yeah. Amazing. Very traditional, huh? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow, oh yeah, <laughs> that's it. This is a wild kiwi, Look at that. wild kiwi wine. Wow. You can smell it. Oh, 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 oh. That's Roderick Rendon. Denver. Oh, Roderick Denver. Yeah. Oh, oh. Wow, that is, yeah, that's smile, The smile on my face just got bigger. This is the yak, yak cheese I was talking about. Oh wow. Yeah, this is the hardened stuff, you know, like when, when it's first made, mm -hmm. it's soft, you know. Mm -hmm. And you hang it, you cut it in slices and you hang it here. And the heat from the oven, you know, makes it hard. Ah. Back in the days, like, you know, when there was no sweets and all, this was a delicacy. Like you break them in the small, you put it in, pop it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And it takes like two, three hours and, and slowly releases the milky taste from it. Ah. Like the cheesy taste, you know. These are all for the stock, you know. Oh, you Look at the size of that. <laughs> Yeah, and that's, that's a mock too. That, that's a soup boiling with all that bone inside. You know, oh, it's it's stuck here. So from one side you put the fire, yeah. the one it's boiling and all. The yeah. other one is to keep all the things warm. So the chimney is going outside. Yeah. So every day now, she's doing the whole day work like that. It's burned or somewhere else. In the evening, it's been laid, uh, the clay has been uh, kept over there. Uh -huh. and then you put a new, new, put a new, new one, round on it. And oh. when you come in the morning, it's... Uh, Oh, so wow. you don't have a crack on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. first, initial when you make you make with the bricks itself only. Yeah. So first few days you have to put on the clay because it's a uh, thicker one. Thicker, yeah, yeah. Then you make it thinner, thinner, thinner. Then you just have to apply and a small. Insulates the whole oven also. Yeah, yeah. yeah it makes the home room warm, also warm. warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And it always here is the cold place because we are in altitude, as same as as in Darjeeling. Mm. But uh, because of that, the windy storm is a small town. Dhotri is small, small town, so because of that, the food has to keep on make on uh, hot. Uh -huh. yeah, so yeah, because that's of this, always stuff, on point. Always uh. on the fire. Beef <laughs> <laughs> <Leave> momos. <laughs> 
one of my best friends. I didn't have uh, that much of red rhododendron, but you, on the forest you can see some of them. <laughs> so which I'll show you. This is the wine made of rhododendron. So tomorrow when we're coming down on a Meghma itself, I'll take you to the place where a lady makes the rhododendron wine itself. I'll take you to his small house and not only the wine, the other rhododendron vodka and other stuff she also makes. So, mm. The process is done through the distillation process. Yeah. So I'll uh, tomorrow I'll show you all the process also. Amazing, thank you. This is good one. <laughs> <laughs> So how they preserve the chili is putting the uh, first they uh, keep, uh, bring the chili they wash the chili very mm. nicely they dry it up they don't dry it properly they just dry it up they put it in the jar and they put the salt on top salt is already so the salt there, doesn't said, damage the summer yeah. Yeah. so when you eat this chili also it becomes very very tasty yeah what makes it unique is the taste you'll get a uh, mm. oriental taste mm -hmm. they use Szechuan pepper nice. Thank you. It's really a, a different uh, cuisine than in other places. Yes, I haven't had much soup yet. Tighten it. Just put a little bit. At home we cook a lot with Szechuan pepper. We love it. Yeah, that's it. I don't think we have wheat. So please enjoy. <laughs> the cheese. Put it in after 40 minutes. You put it in your mouth, leave it in your mouth. After 40 minutes, the milk starts coming out and it starts melting. Ah, yes, my one. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, it's very hard at the moment. The meat is so fresh. So they were saying that the the animal that they slaughter is very, very lean because obviously it's just up and down the hills all day. And it tastes so good. We're gonna walk into that cloud there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 